Hi guys, welcome back to Ford Street Racing. This is a second take of this one, um, and I'll explain now. Uh, there was an update for Windows 10 that came out a few days ago. It was quite a large update. Um, and unbeknown to me is that it messed with the settings with OBS Studio, which is what I used to record audio with. Um, instead of putting the microphone audio and the game audio on separate tracks, it decided to change it all and put them all on every single track, as well as... Uh, disabled a microphone to begin with and everything else, so literally the first take was just a cluster of noise and it was completely indistinguishable. You couldn't make out what was going on. It was just really, really bad. It was all corrupt and messed up. So yeah, thanks Microsoft for that. That was bloody wall. awesome of you to do that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I have to do this again, but oh well, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, last time we done the solo championship, which was a classic, which we won. Um, and we have to unlock a few more challenges with the team championship, which is what we're going to do now. Uh, I'd already won the classic. As you can see, I'd already got gold. There's only three races, and we won. Um, but because of the audio and everything that glitched up, I have to do it again, which is a pain in the arse, but oh well, what are you going to do? So let's start it again. We have three cars uh, that I bought, which was the... Oh, they're a bit knackered. As you can see, the cars are a bit a bit damaged, um, but we can repair those, which is... Is that seriously backspace to repair? Or is that enter? Oh, enter. Uh, repair? Yes, why not? And we'll repair that one as well, just for good measure. Uh, we still have over 10,000 credits in the bank, so we did win quite a few monies. Um, so that's not too bad. Save successful, good. And um, we'll do the novice championship again. Uh, the team championship is really cool, actually. You can swap between your cars uh, while you're racing. So if you get one of your team cars to the lead and the other one's fallen back, you can just swap over to him and uh, make your way up. But the other cars on the track, the other teams, they do block you. So uh, you have to be careful not to ram into any of the other cars because it does damage you and slows you down a bit. Um, another thing, uh, my voice is a bit croaky, which I'm sorry about. Um, it's all swollen and it's extremely sore. So um, if my voice cuts out or goes very croaky, then that's why. Um, anyway, let's select our cars for this first novice championship for the second time. Um, Let's see what the colors we can have. We can have like a gray, or I think that's like an army green color. Uh, purple, red, yellow, black, or back to white. I'm going to go for yellow. This time I'm going to mix it up a bit, why not? Uh, the reason I bought three cars is because some of the team championships, they have uh, three cars per team. So it makes life a lot more interesting. So I bought three cars uh, just as a... Just for safety, pretty much. Anyway, the other teams, we have Team Dwarf, which is us. Uh, New York Relentless and LA All-Stars. How original. Anyway, let's get on to race number one. Uh, you can change your cards, or change between your cards, by the W and S key. Of course, there is no uh, controller uh, options on this game. It's all done purely by keyboard. And off we go. And let's see if we can do another whitewash like we did last time. Oh, see, and the other team cars, they do ram you and try to block you, but... Um, oh, yeah, see, there we go. He's trying to block my path, but that's fine. So we'll skip back to our other team car. And they try and break. But it's good, because they actually try and take each other out as well. Which is uh, some good AI. At least they don't just gang up on the player cars, they actually do try and take the other AI drivers out as well, which is good. Now he's going to try and break, and he's going to try and block my path, but we'll try and scoot in on the inside, and job done. So now we should keep these positions now until the end of the race, and get a lovely 18 points and another 1,000 credits. But um, seeing as this can be a bit tedious and boring, especially with four laps, um, I'll just do a jump cut so you don't actually miss anything at all. So, um, yeah. See you at the end of the race. Now, one cool little feature I will point out is if you're in the lead car 
and your teammate is behind. Um, when you cross the finish line first, the race doesn't end straight away. Um, it goes back to your other team car, as it does now. So you can actually carry on and race uh, until the, the actual race is over, or race the other cars if your car is a bit lower in the field. You can carry on racing until the end, which I reckon is pretty cool. Anyway, we get 18 points and another 1,000 credits. Uh, New York Relentless get 12, and LA All Stars get 10. Okay, let's get on to race number two. Again, another size of credits. Don't unlock anything. Um, I think after we won that race, we won a uh, Torino, Ford Torino, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, and we're downtown. So let's get on and start this race. Another staggered start, rolling start. Not so much damage. And off we go. Again, just... A case of trying to get into the lead. Why is my teammate trying to block me, you son of a bitch? Um, yeah, it's just a case of getting into the lead and then going back to your other team car and getting up to the second position. And hopefully keeping it. And he tried to block me, but he fell. And there's those pterodactyls flying overhead again. And we are now tied for the lead of points because my teammate is down in fifth. And our brake lights are a bit knackered. I think they still work. Mm, barely. And the frame rate is juddering a little tiny bit. It does that occasionally on some of the uh, turns. I think it's just where it's trying to load data in the background. Or it could just be uh, Windows 10 trying to update more crap to ruin my apps. Who knows? Anyway, it's only a shorter race this time, only three laps. Nice slide through the shortcut. Okay, so I've pulled out a little bit of a lead, so I will go back to my team car, which is down in sixth, and see if I can make up a few spots there. And we're only just leading by one point, but uh, make our way up into second place, and we'll be leading with 18 points again. Basically like constructors, if you ever watch Formula 1. They have the individual driver's points, and then they have the team constructor's points. That's basically what this is. It should be just, uh, instead of team championship, just be constructor's championship or something. I don't know. Either works. Team or Constructors. I don't think it would be Constructors, though, would it? Because that's, like, usually for other team manufacturers like Ferrari, uh, Honda, Ford, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, yeah, I suppose team, just team racing would work better than Constructors. But what do I know? And coming up to the last couple of corners now, I'm going to see if I can get a photo finish. Almost did last time. I mean, in the last uh, recording session, but... Shit, where's my teammate? Oh, he's fallen back. Okay, let's just uh, go back to him then, very quickly. See if we can get side by side, and no. Almost. Almost, but no cigar. So that's race number two done, 18 points again. And... The LA All-Stars New York Relentless get 11 each. Another grand in the bank as well. So up to 36, 23, and 21. And a thousand credits, as always. Uh, right, so last race is Venice Beach. I actually do like this track. It's uh, pretty flat out all the way through. They always start me in last position, which I think is pretty shite. But... Fairly straightforward, very easy. So let's just scoot on up to first place. If the AI don't try to block me, which they undoubtedly will. Yep, there we go. Slamming on their brakes, going into my lane. <clears throat> my voice is dying. 
But it's funny that they actually try and take each other out as well, which is, <laughs> which is pretty nifty. Okay, out of the way. And I think we pulled away a little bit now so I can go back straight into my other team car, who is like two miles back. What the hell was he doing so far back? Bloody hell. And the purple car is still trying to block each other. Which will work for me because I can just scoot up on the inside or attempt to. I don't know what those lines are. Is that like drafting or is that like a little bit of a boost? Which I haven't figured out how to do yet. Oh, what on earth is going on here? Well, get out of the way. And looks like old White up there is trying to get past us. Not gonna happen though, I'll just scoot by. Oh, not into the barriers, that'll be uh, disastrous. Now he's putting on his brakes, he's trying to block me. Oh, almost. That was a bit of a knee jerk reaction on my part, went into the barrier instead of uh, trying to get around him, but oh well. Right, let's just keep first and second, shall we? Why is my teammate going so bloody slow? Move your arse. Try and bump draft him. That doesn't work, that just slows him down even more, what the hell? Alright, let's go into first place and see if we can pull away. And we're on the final lap anyway, so I won't bore you with the details. Let's just get straight into the final couple of corners. And we come across the line for first and second place. Unfortunately, didn't get a photo finish this time, but oh well. We win. 18 points. Uh, 1,200 for the win on the final race. 54 to 33 and 33. Oh, exactly the same points as we ended off last time. And we should get uh, 1,200, but for the championship win, we get another 8,000 credits as well to add to our tally, which is good. And that is it for the novice championship. So, we have to do the expert challenge next time. Um, we'll see. Let's have a look at the showroom, see the other cars we unlocked. There he is, the Gran Torino Sport and the Capri Mark 1. And we still have these other cards that uh, we can only just barely afford. That is the one that I really want, which I think I'll be buying next time, which is a good old Ford Sierra. I do like those cars. And that is the only cars we've unlocked at the moment. Um, I don't know, actually. Shall I go for the Ford Sierra or shall I go for the Torino? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I will leave it here for now, and next time we will do the Expert Championship to get some more challenges unlocked, and then we can go back to the Solo Championship as well. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.